Can we maybe put the phones down and have an actual human conversation? We can, but thanks to Steve Jobs, we don't have to. <laughs> I think it's sexier when things are left to the imagination. He's wrong. I don't know about you, but I'm very uncomfortable with all this. Why? I've never seen this show before, and now I'm starting with episode 246? <laughs> it's unnatural. Just think of the first 245 as the prequel. All right. <laughs> this is interesting. Apparently, a key component in some forms of humor is the element of surprise. Well, that makes sense. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning and anticipation, and patients with brain lesions... Brain lesions! <laughs> Sheldon, you scared me. That wasn't funny. Maybe you have a stick up your prefrontal cortex. <laughs> okay, the notion that you can read a few books and come up with a definitive theory of comedy is absurd. I mean, Humor is a complex neurological... <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yes. Kumquat? I guess. Ointment? Sure. Now, would you say ointment is more equal to or less funny than kumquat? I don't think I want to go out with you anymore. Would you please stop joking around? I'm trying to figure this out. Sheldon, how many words are you going to go through? All of them. Hey. Where's Sheldon? He's home trying to use science to determine the basis of humor. That's interesting. It's exhausting. Do you have any idea how hard it is to laugh at a knock-knock joke that starts with knock-knock-knock Amy, knock-knock-knock Amy, knock-knock-knock Amy? Wanting to stop, sometimes the easiest thing to do is just fake a laugh. He's nice. Yeah, he's nice because he likes you. What? No, he doesn't. Uh, he brought you a pretty rock. So? He does that every day. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you'd rather skip lunch and hang out with your boyfriend, Bert, it's totally okay. <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. Are you sure? He's tall, pale, and awkward. That sounds like your type. Should someone as lonely as you really be making fun of me? Yeah, grow up, Howard. God. What do I do? I don't want to hurt his feelings. Maybe the problem is he thinks you're available. Does he know you're dating Sheldon? I guess it hasn't come up. There you go. And does Sheldon know you're dating Sheldon? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you dating? <laughs> yeah, knock it off, Howard. It's of you, but I do have a boyfriend. That's what you all say. You just don't want to go out with me because I have an off-putting personality. No, that's not true. My boyfriend has an off-putting personality, too, like way worse than you. 